This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. It has long been said that you cannot manage what you cannot measure. Nowhere is this more true than in food production. Today, the top manager team looks at the role of performance measures and what you should know about them. Well, performance uh, is, is critical. It, it's kind of... Um it goes along with business planning. It's, um, it, it's, you know, failing to plan is planning to fail. You really need to know, leading farmers have told us, you really need to know what your performance standards are. And many of them are already involved in some aspect of benchmarking. So when they go into their operations, either at the beginning of the year or beginning of a cropping season, they have a very good idea of uh, what they expect in terms of uh, a final production. And they've already um, uh, largely established established a market for uh, quite a bit of their, their, their produce. But on performance, the big thing on performance is knowing exactly what your costs are. And uh, all top farmers or leading producers uh, have their performance records and their financial uh, combined per unit or, or whether it's a unit of land or per animal or per enterprise. And so they uh, not only um, know what their costs are, they have performance standards and um, to, to, to know where they're hitting. So when they look, uh, when they do their year-end review, they have a pretty good idea where they're making money, where they're not making money, or areas that are uh, more in a mature industry perhaps they need to phase out and, and areas they need to, to phase in. So certainly um, that's all about best practice, benchmarking, and uh, knowing just, just knowing exactly where you are on a financial uh, point of view. You hear a lot in industry about uh, KPAs or critical performance areas and you can open anybody's annual report and they'll list out production and financial uh, performance gauges. They'll look at uh, marketing achievements and so forth. Um, farmers are good at looking at the production gauges like yield and what the quality of my crop is, but we often don't look at the the other gauges in our business, the financial gauges. What's our working capital? What's our debt asset ratio? What have been our long-term trends in profit margin percentage or return on assets or return on equity? I like to tell the story that if, if you as a farmer were driving a tractor and pulling a no-till drill and you had $200,000 worth of equipment under your belt and all the gauges were working, you would be inclined to get in there and drive that tractor. But if I told you none of the gauges worked, you would be scared to death to even turn that tractor on and go because you'd be worried about the oil pressure or what the seeding rate was or whether you were putting on too much or too little fertilizer. And yet we as farm businesses are driving our financial business down the road, in many cases, totally blind to the financial gauges in our business. And if you ask which of these gauges would put us out of business first, a failed oil gauge or a very significant problem with one of your financial performance indicators, it won't be the oil gauge that puts you out of business. It's a severe problem with working capital or a profit margin that is not, not in a margin position anymore or the failure to use capital effectively and having a low turnover ratio. These are the kind of things that ultimately are going to put us out of business. So if we don't understand, number one, what those gauges are and number two, how to track those things on a regular basis and look at decisions that we're making that either result in good gauge readings or poor gauge readings, we won't have a business to farm anymore. There's an old saying, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And I believe that's true. The important thing is having the management information system in place that provides you the information you need in a form that you can use it, and also that provides it on a timely basis. One of the important things we need to remember is the same measures don't apply to all businesses. A confinement livestock operation needs different measures and has different metrics than a row crop operation. I think it's important that also we not just compare the business's performance over time, but that we have a set of benchmarks so that we can compare ourselves to our peers. 
it's particularly important that we stay on top of what's going on and learn to use that information to spot strengths, weaknesses, and to learn from our mistakes, as well as to spot opportunities.